Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about pushing Jesus away. What if it's true? What if what the Bible says about Jesus is actually true? That's the question a friend began wrestling with as I discipled him. I think he was wrestling with the right question. If the Bible is true, and if Jesus is who he claimed to be, that should move us to action and, of course, to change. And that's exactly what people had to wrestle with 2,000 years ago. So let's keep walking with Jesus in the book of John. Let's pick it up as Jesus performs a miracle and begins to wrestle with the implications. Here's what John records in John chapter 11, beginning in verse 43. When he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The man who had died came out, his hands and feet bound with linen strips and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what he did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered the council and said, What are we to do? For this man performs many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation. If you've been with us on the study of John, you know those Pharisees are a handful. They're those religious authorities who don't want to show people the way to heaven, but they want to be the way to heaven. Well, Jesus has been continuing to prove his deity. He has healed the sick, restored the crippled, and now made the dead come back to life. Instead of considering the possibility that Jesus is the Messiah, they despise Jesus. They continue to develop a hatred for him. Well, regardless, Jesus is growing his popularity and influence, which diminishes their authority and their power. Jesus' consistent message is that religion is a dead-end street. It won't get you closer to God. It actually takes you farther away from him. So Jesus says, forget religion, instead know me, believe in me, follow me. It's there you will know rebirth, and that is where you will experience the kingdom of God. So people are seeing the signs of Jesus, and some are believing him. The Pharisees are witnesses of these miracles, including this very miracle, the raising of Lazarus from the dead. But it's amazing, they will not believe. For them, the cost of belief is far too high. When we realize that we have no power in our salvation or spiritual status, we begin to see Jesus clearly and we believe. So here's my challenge for you today. Stop pushing Jesus away. We all do it. For some of us, we know Jesus is special. We know he has done the miraculous, but we count the cost as too high. We want to be the captain of our ship. But if that's you today, be honest. How well is that working out for you? Are you experiencing the peace, hope, the the assurance that you desire? If not, stop pushing Jesus away. Now, if you do believe in Jesus, do you trust him? Are you following him? Are you giving him authority over your life? If not, you should. The one who heals the sick, who restores the crippled, the one who raises the dead and saves our souls, 
offers us life to the fullest if we trust Him.